Hey YouTubers, this is Old John. I'm going to make a video on replacing the battery in my 600 peak amp jump starter. I got this from Aldi's uh, almost four years ago. Here's the receipt, $39.99 from Aldi's. Quite a nice little charger. I'd say it's a 600 PCAMP jump starter. Um, here's the manual for it. User guide. <clears throat> Has quite a list of attachments. It's got a LED light. Um, this is where you test the battery. There's a fuse. Um, this is where you, you, this is a safety switch where you turn this and then jump the vehicle battery or whatever you're going to jump. Um, this is where the charger adapter goes in. <clears throat> There's a USB port right here, so you can charge things with USB, and there's your switch, and then the light switch for this light here. And then you also can uh, use uh, the adapter from your vehicle to charge it. So it's a nice little uh, unit. It's got the jumper cables built in where you just wrap them around this end and then attach them to these posts. Here's the negative. Um, I've got it disconnected because I'm going to do something here. Anyway, it stopped um, stopped working. And like I say, it's four years old. So um, there's the nameplate. Anyway, so I think the battery is, internal battery is bad, so let's take this off. <clears throat> and let's disconnect the cover. And basically, I've taken it off already but I'm going to show you a couple of screws and I just use a Phillips screwdriver. It's a fairly thin uh, screwdriver and there are screws in the top here two on top two on the side and two on the bottom two on the other side Just reaching in here, and I left one on top and one in the bottom. So comes off with that. Here are the screws. They're not very big. Now the one exception would be though <clears throat> this one right here on this bottom left corner is huge. I'm not sure why. <clears throat> I was hard I was having trouble getting it out. I thought I was going to strip the head and almost did. But so that bottom left one is is large. So anyway here's the battery. It's a sealed battery. 12 volt 
7 amp hour. Um, so let's let's test it. See what we got. So get your multimeter out. Put it on DC volts. And I'm putting it on 20 because it's going to be something less than 20. Let's put the red connector on the where the red wire connects in. Positive. And put the negative in the negative. And we get 5.86 volts, which is more than half of what it should be. It should be probably 12, 6 or something like that. So obviously the battery is bad. So let's take the battery out and look at it further. Okay, I'm removing the bolt here. I'm using an 8 millimeter socket. Okay, and there are two <coughs> wires attached here. Two wires <coughs> attached here that have um, connectors on the end. Okay, I got that one. I'll end up using this little um, wrench I have. It's a nine thirty seconds. Okay, lifting the battery out. made in China probably. They produced September 2013. Okay so I pried this cover off and it had to be very delicate because it cracks really easy. Of course it's, they're against a four-year-old battery so things are kind of aged so Cut that off, and then they're just these simple little rubber caps that go over the fill holes, and they're all dry. So, I'm going to add distilled water now and see if we can bring the battery back to life. Okay, I'm using distilled water to fill these and just put them in a glass cup and then just using this 0.6 ml um, eyedropper it's only taken a few drops so this is a small battery but you'd think it'd take more than that to fill these up but maybe not This end one's taking a little bit more. So now we'll put the battery back in and try charging it. 